In today's video, we'll check out the Electrics CM4 XGO Lite Robot Dog Kit for the Raspberry Pi. This robot dog comes fully assembled, runs the CM4 Raspberry Pi single board computer, includes a sturdy case, and can be controlled a number of different ways, which we'll cover in this video. If you're fascinated with robotics, I think you're going to enjoy this. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. I would like to thank Electfreaks for sending over the CM4 XGO Lite Robot Dog. If you didn't already know, a CM4 is the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4, which is the computer that is running this device. It's essentially a Pi 4's hardware in a smaller, modular size, and looks like this. The Robot Dog Kit comes in a nice and solid feeling case, which should keep it well protected for years. Inside the case, you'll find the robot dog comes already pre-assembled for you. There is literally no assembly required, which I can really appreciate. I'll place some of its features on the screen and links below if you want to learn more about it. The dog feels very solidly built. It weighs about 1 pound, 6 ounces, and while it's relatively small, it packs 2500 milliamp hour batteries that should last around 2 hours of runtime. Inside the box, you'll find the power supply, which has a barrel connector and outputs 8.4 volts and 1 amp. There are objects such as this green ball that you can use for picking up stuff. A USB-C to 4-port USB-A hub is also included in case you want to connect a keyboard and a mouse to the robot dog. And there is also a micro HDMI to standard HDMI cable if you want to connect it to an external display. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. There is a hardware pack that includes a small screwdriver and various extra screws for the servo, rack, housing, and others in case any get lost. These three blocks will come in handy for trying out the arm with the robot dog to allow picking up or stacking blocks as well as three foam balls. That's a nice little touch. The included manual is okay. It covers some of the basics, but you'll find much more detailed information on their website. I'll have links for that below. To get started, all you need to do is press the power button on the top of the dog, and within a few seconds, it'll come to life. Okay, that's pretty awesome. It kind of reminds me of the Boston Dynamics Spot Robot Dog. When the robot dog fully powers up, you press the top left or right side buttons to change the selection and the bottom right button to make a selection. If you select Try Demo, there are a number of sample programs included to try out. We'll start with the Show Demo. I'm actually pretty impressed with the sound quality coming out of this robot. It's not bad at all. Taking a closer look at the left side of the display is the top selection or A button, the back or C button, and a 32 gigabyte micro SD card running Raspberry Pi desktop. On the right side top is the right selection or B button, Below that is the Option, Select, or D button. On the bottom is the micro HDMI port for connecting an external display and the USB-C port where you'll connect the 4-port hub. To charge the robot, you'll plug in the power adapter into this port. When the robot is fully charged, the LED on the power supply will go from red to green. On their wiki, it states to click this link to download the XGO Bot app for Android phones. However, it just took me to an empty Google Drive folder. For Android users, this will be particularly frustrating as the app is necessary for remote controlling the robot. For iPhone users, the XGO Bot app is on the Apple Store. I was able to locate the app from a third-party website, 
I'll show you how I was able to download it. However, I'm also going to speak with Elect Freaks and see if I can find a better link for Android users. If so, I'll notate it in the description below. It took some searching, but I found the XGO Bot app on apkpure.com. I then located the XBot app, installed the 11.41 megabyte application, and allowed notifications from APK Pure and was able to download it. Oddly, the name of the app was Banner Layout upon installation. After installation, the app asked for the local IP address of the robot, which is what it should do. For the robot to auto-connect to your phone, you will need to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot on the phone or tablet. Swipe down, select Connections, then select Mobile Hotspot and Tethering. Tap on Mobile Hotspot, and for the robot to auto-connect to your hotspot, you will need to name your network as XGO2, and enter the password of LUWU Dynamics, and the case here is very important. This is what the robot will use to connect to your phone. Then, of course, enable the hotspot and select OK on the following prompts. Then power off and on the robot. When it boots back up, select RC on the front of the display, and it will tell you the IP address that you will want to enter from the app. Just tap the address and enter the one shown on the robot display and tap the confirm button. The middle ring on the robot will now show connected. Here I've loaded the app and connected to the robot. The left option is performance mode, the right control mode. Once connected, the robot streams the camera feed to your phone. The camera is right above the LCD display. Control mode provides on-screen buttons for you to move the robot up, down, left, and right. Right below the camera, you can also set the robot to trot or move faster or walk, which is slower. Pressing the grab button on the lower right will allow you to pick up an object about two inches below the robot's display. The top grab button will grab something higher up. And as you would expect, the middle grab button will grab something in the middle. The two buttons above the D-pad will turn the robot left or right. Within pose mode, you can change the angles such as x-axis, y-axis, or z-axis. And if you lower the robot, with the z-axis and then move back into control mode it will remember the z-axis setting and allow you to operate the robot in a crawled stance. Going back to pose mode there is roll, pitch, and lastly yaw. Within performance mode, there are 23 pre-programmed motions for you to pick from. I'll pick about 10 of them just to show you what they do. We'll start with lie down, stand up, crawl, turn 360 degrees, squat, I wish I could do them that well and everyone's favorite, P. Wave hand. Pray. And I love this one, looking for food. Handshake. push-ups, and this is probably my favorite, chicken head. And dance.
Under the Try Demo option, there are several examples and informational programs to try out. We'll quickly go through a few of them, including Mask, which performs facial detection and overlays a mask over your face. Hands, which can detect how many fingers you have up, and if you give it a thumbs up, it'll begin dancing. Pose, which can track your face, arm, and leg movements. Color, which will track a specific color. And you can also adjust other things, such as the volume level, or check the device information, and several others. As the Exco Light Robot is using a CM4, which is a Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer, you can connect it up using the USB C hub at the bottom of the display. Then connect the micro HDMI connection to your display, turn on the robot, and plug in a keyboard and a mouse. Switching over to the monitor, we can see that it's running Raspberry Pi desktop. If you'd prefer to directly connect your robot to your Wi Fi network, you certainly can do that by clicking the Wi Fi icon, selecting your network name or SSID, and entering the password. I found this particularly helpful when programming the robot. As we see here, it's connected to my cell phone automatically using the XGO2 SSID. One thing I do want to mention, which might cause you a little bit of trouble if you already have a Raspberry Pi on your existing network, is that the host name for the robot is set for Raspberry Pi. This can cause conflicts with other Raspberry Pis, so I recommend changing the host name to something like XGoBot. After making the change, you will need to restart the Pi. From that point, we can disconnect the micro HDMI cable and the USB-C cable. To deeply explore what is possible with the robot, you can create your own programs. To do that, visit the URL below from a device that is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the robot dog. Then click on XGo CM4. In this example, I'll enter my local IP address of the robot dog while in program mode, and then go ahead and press enter. The front display on the robot will now indicate that you're connected. From here, you can use XGo Blockly to drag and drop programming components into the canvas. If I select XGo Light, I'll first need to initialize the robot, so I'll go ahead and just drag that over. Next, I wanted to execute some action, so I'll drag the execute block below the initialization and set the type of action I'd like performed, which is to crawl. I now want the robot to say something. For that, I'll select the AI Vision Library and select Speech Synthesis. I'll then change the text to something a little more interesting, <laughs> at least for this channel. And lastly, we'll add another action to be performed and set it to what we want the robot to do. While using Blockly, your selections are actually writing code. For example, if we click Blocks in the upper right, it will switch to the Python program that was generated. Pretty cool. You can also program in Python or using Blocks, whichever you prefer. Great! Now all we need to do is click the Run button to run our program, and here's what it does. If you've watched this far, you're likely wondering how much is the CM4 XGO Lite Robot Dog Kit? It's currently priced at $599. Well, not exactly a cheap robot, it's solidly built and does what it's advertised to do. If you're a tinker, engineering student, instructor, or just love robotics, this is an option worth considering. For me personally, the difficulty I had locating the Android mobile app was unnecessary, and hope to have a better link for you in the video description before this video is released. But once installed, I was right at home using the device, and it worked very well during my testing. I'll end this video showing you what our pets thought of the CM4 XGO Lite Robot Dog Kit for the Raspberry Pi. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button, 
it lets me know that you're interested in this sort of content. And if you'd like to catch more tech videos like this in the future, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.